I've never seen the likes of which a drama has has totally destroyed and burned a man alive. 103,000 lost in one day. I've never seen anything like it, and we may never see anything of the likes of which again. Yeah. 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 James Charles is in a career crisis right now, and the controversy surrounding him shows no signs of slowing down. There's so much going on with James Charles right now that I do not support, that I do not agree with. James Charles, biggest oopsie of 2019. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. Since Friday, James Charles, easily one of the largest creators on this or many other platforms, he has lost almost, and by the time this video goes up, may have lost more than 3 million subscribers. The makeup on my daughter's in love with, she watches this makeup on uh -huh. YouTube, and now he's been canceled. I've never seen anything like it, and oh, we may never see anything of the, right the right likes of which again. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Experience. I want to give my biggest congratulations possible to James Charles for being the all-time sub-loss champion. <laughs> the coveted title and crown goes to James Charles. And uh, my condolences to Pro Jared, who held it only for like two <laughs> minutes as I was live last week doing this podcast. Not only did he lose the sub-loss championship, but he embarrassed me in the process, okay? <laughs> Whatever the drama he's been through, he embarrassed me. That's the worst crime imaginable. Because during live, during that <laughs> podcast, we're like, wow, we will never see the likes of which again. <laughs> Literally two minutes later, James Charles had to come dunk on him and lost like... A million. Over a million. Well over a million <laughs> in one day. So fantastic, beautiful. Shout out to both of them. This was a really exciting Drama Olympics 2019 um, that I'm very excited, very happy to bring to you guys today on this Blessed Friday. Thank you to our sponsors, Honey, Quip, and Stitch Fix. And now let us get into the headline story here, James Charles. Boy, I've been following this one closer than I should. And I've spent so much time on this that it's embarrassing, and frankly, I wish you could get the time back. <laughs> but that's not how time works, sadly. Uh, time is finite, and we as humans can only spend it, you know, one time. There's no refund on time. One time it, at a time? One time at a time, baby. So, but I've made a purchase with my time, and I bring to you the explanation of James Charles. Because when I first <laughs> found it, most of these dramas, it, there's a clear cause... You know, there's a clear cause and reason, and it's easy to understand. Logan Paul, Suicide Force. He went into yeah. Suicide Force and took pictures with a corpse. Okay, yeah, that's awful, you know. Um, Pro Jared, cheated on his wife, sent dick pics to underage girls. That guy sucks. James Charles was weird because the reaction was so strong. The reaction was insane. It was so severe. Um, but it was so hard to understand what he did. And so myself and a lot of other people were just like, what the hell mm -hmm. is going on here? What am I missing? Right. So I want to break it down. I want to explain it. I want to tell you what's going on. Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys is what is T and why has it spelled? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> now, there's a uh, expression in the beauty community. They say they call drama spilling T. <laughs> Which is so much better than drama. Or exposing, or yeah. all the other words. Spilling tea, you like yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. He was in it. She's in it. She's a drama queen, baby. Spilling that tea. <laughs> I guess because it's like you're sitting there with a teacup, yeah. and it's like, oop, I spilled my tea, bitch. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> because another thing I learned is that the, I thought the commentary community was bad. These <laughs> drama uh, communities is cutthroat. <laughs> These bitches kill. <laughs> These bitches slay. are, they slay. <laughs> I mean, they are crazy. These girls are crazy. I actually think, dude, when girls fight, it's like nuclear, bro. That's true. You don't want to mess with us. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it's true. Commentary is like the guy's version. Yeah. And dudes tussle, but girls fucking kill. <laughs> they are scary. And James Charles, he calls his community sisters. Hi, sister! <laughs> do, we don't have a soundbite of that, Hi, do we? Hi, sisters! Oh, oh, good job, yeah. <laughs> Hi, sisters! 
<laughs> Hi, sister. Hi, sisters. So here we go. Um, Tati, by the way, since this has begun, Tati is the so-called mentor of, of James Charles, who was started, who was the one that exposed, who spilled the tea initially. Um, she is his self-proclaimed mentor and also mother. She refers, he says, she, he's a son to me, she kept saying throughout her initial video, by sister. Um, she's 37 years old. James Charles is 19. So there is kind of a mother uh, maternal relationship there. What makes it all the more brutal when she decided to fucking bury him <laughs> and tap dance on his grave. <laughs> she decided to compost his body, dude. I wonder if all that makeup's biodegradable, biodegradable because she buried that <laughs> mother effer. Um, she gained 4 million subscribers since 7 days ago when this started. <laughs> Wow. And James has lost 3 million. She went from like 5, actually, I think it must be more than 4, because she went from like 5 million subs to over 10 now. So she took the 3 with some change. Oh, yeah. She picked up a couple on the way <laughs> with interest. Yeah. James has tumbled severely. Um, so what the hell happened, okay? So Tati, uh, she sells vitamins. Uh... She developed some vitamin for, like, skin, skin and, and hair. hair and nails. Mm -hmm. um, and James is a good friend, so friend of hers. Um, and so James goes on his Instagram, and he promotes one of her competitors. Sugar Bear. Sugar I also want to give video. a quick shout-out so, to Sugar Bear yeah, Hair. I'm I met their try team. to lay this out can... chronologically. It starts with this video. This is what pissed her off. This channel is called, uh, just for the record, Tea Spill. Legend. There's like a whole drama community, <laughs> and they all have tea in the title. Tea spilled. That, how how tea much time. better is this than drama alert? <laughs> like as a name, the the concept. Yeah, it's more clever. They've thought about it a little more. But <laughs> I, when I think of like tea time or spill the tea, I just think of this Kermit the Frog meme. <laughs> you know, which I love, by the way. It's like this. This is spilling the tea. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So anyway. Hi sisters. Hi sisters. So <laughs> she has she makes she develops vitamins. She sells them. Uh and so he worked with a competitor. Here's the video that started it all. The powder keg. Okay, can you not get me claimed here, please? Yeah, the tea. It's like okay, it's uh, I love yeah, the tea, the tea, the tea. <laughs> vitamins. Um, you guys probably. You know, it's uh, something really interesting. I noticed that all these tea channels use the Yoshi theme song. And one, I don't know how they don't all get claimed. And mm. two, how the hell did they all end up using the Yoshi hair. theme I song? Because <laughs> I bet you Coachella, none of them even play. Really yeah. my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Nintendo's about um, to spill the tea on all this community. The they claim all this shit. But they just came out with brand new vegan. Okay, sleep actually, we should listen. I'm fucking. It's not that interesting. You can just play it from here. Uh, Ela. <laughs> Friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Um, you guys they helped him out with security. Their iconic hair vitamins, but they just came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins. And first of all, they taste so bomb. But most importantly, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently, and it always comes late at night when I'm laying in bed thinking, which is not fun or fresh. Um, so I've been taking these 30 minutes before bed, and they've been really, really helping. So if you guys want to check them out, you can swipe up. Okay, so he basically uh -huh. promoted their sleeping vitamins. So they helped him with security at Coachella for some reason. I guess he wasn't prepared for the madness that was going to happen there. He should have been. But then he did um, tag this as ad too. Yeah, I don't believe actually, I don't believe he wasn't paid because so. ja James Charles probably makes a lot of money per, for one of these spots. He says he wasn't paid. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he gave him a matter. shout out. Whether he was paid or not doesn't really matter. Yeah. But sugar well, bear hair, I really guess, they're super popular, like these little gummy vitamins that everyone's f f fucking around with on Instagram. You chew it, it apparently makes your hair and nails better. It sounds like snake oil to me. Mm -hmm. Probably just a normal ass vitamin that you can buy anywhere, like a multivitamin that they rebrand. They just branded it really geniusly, you know, it's like a gummy bear, it's got a cool package. Right. But they charge like, and they're like, it's like 40 bucks, you get one per day. Yeah, you know, and then you have to keep buying it every month because you're like, oh, maybe it is working. 
but it's just a multivitamin. I think. What the fuck do I know? Anyway, that's <laughs> it. So she got super upset. Uh, yada yada yada. Why are all these people selling vitamins? I don't know. These there's huge webs, huge disclaimers on their website and Tati's website that says not evaluated by the FDA. I don't know. I don't know what's her Tati's credentials to be making vitamins. I don't know anything about her. This is all new. That whole industry is a grift, honestly. All of those vitamin things. That's why Alex Jones sells vitamins too. You know? Yeah. What I mean, it's I, mean like, I don't know how much you need. It's a ki- like she has a kiwi vitamin. It's kiwi extract. I don't know. I'll eat a kiwi. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably healthier. Uh, so, uh, so much here. I don't really see what's the big deal, even of selling the competitor. I mean, like, it's enough room and there's enough yeah. space in the world for everybody. I mean, that was my initial feeling. That big of a deal. So, I f- I mean, well, here, let's. I'm yeah. getting ahead of myself. Yeah. I don't have a. Why don't I have a link to her her video of her crying on Instagram? It was in that video that you closed. Oh fuck! Tea time, dude. They did their research. <laughs> yeah. eh? I also want to give a quick shout out to Sugar so Bear Hair. This, I met their team at weekend they one show at Coachella. How she and reacted really helped me on my Instagram. Out with yeah. sister security because so it was right crazy. afterwards, um, she posted post- this video on Instagram. I feel really lost, and I feel in my community, especially like I feel really lonely. And through this whole journey of YouTube, I feel like I have been someone who's been super supportive to my friends. And it's been really crap to feel like, (coughs) not that you should do things to get support, but like, you know, friends should support one another. That's how it should be. And, you know, I just am having one of those days where it's like smacked in my face of, what's what and having to take a look at things and realize what they are and not wanting to realize what they are when you do so much for people in your life and they not only don't return the favor but they just don't even see you (laughs) like i i get it i fucking get it i'm just so upset I feel really used and that's the bad part of Hollywood. Welcome to show business. You too. Everybody says Don't what they yourself. need to say <laughs> and uses who they need to use to get ahead and I have had about enough. Okay, so here she's talking. <laughs> this is in response to James <clears throat> yeah. uh, promoting the gummy bear vitamin. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like I mean, I don't know. I'm not in it, but it seems like a lot to, again, there's enough space in the whole world for, yeah. also he promoted their sleeping vitamin. He didn't promote their uh, hair vitamin. Right. So, but she doesn't sell it. Her, her beauty product is called Halo Beauty, I believe. But the thing is that to make a video of you crying like that, it's, re- <laughs> what? What's up with this photo? <laughs> there's something weird going there's on something, there. There's uh, something there's something going on here. <laughs> but okay. What <laughs> this is her website. She makes these supplements. One is a bu- ha- uh, hair skin and nail booster and the other was ha- a kiwi skin booster. So it's 30 bucks and 40 bucks. It's a month supply. You keep buying them. Right down here it says, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Our product is not to- intended to diagnose, treat, or cure or prevent any disease. The nutritional information expressed by Halo Beauty is not intended as a substitute for medical advice if you're pregnant. and Or what the hell? But I don't know if this is like a normal thing that you'll find on anything. Well, know? yeah. Any, a disclaimer. Yeah, any snake oil. Uh, any even just, I think most multivitamins aren't evaluated. <laughs> like, I think this is pretty standard. Like, yeah. if you go into GNC, like all of those, all the shit they sell in there is going to have the same warning label. Well, regardless, we it, it's just a vitamin. Yeah. Yep. So... Anyway, yeah, I don't know if I should wait for you to keep presenting what happened. Sure, right. let's 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 keep going. You can jump in. So she is upset. She goes. And people suspect that it's in response to him, and then he actually, I guess, confirming it. Um, she said, "Everybody says what they need to say and uses who they need to use, and I've had enough. It's not right." So James Charles, I guess, having realized that she was talking about him, posted a story. I guess she thought that wasn't juicy enough. It was all in the stories. 
Right. She went to the stories. Too. The first. Right. It all and, and Instagram stories. These are impermanent. These are not. This is like the least serious way to yeah. address anything. She says, "I want to publicly pol- apologize to my close friend Tati. She has been like a mother to me since the first days in this industry, and has given me more love, support, and resources and advice than I could ever ask." What do you call it when you kill your own child? Infanticide. 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 Yeah. <laughs> this is straight up infanticide. <laughs> um, this weekend, I did an Instagram story for sleeping vitamin that I've been taking because the brand helped me with security when the crowd around me at Coachella became unsafe. I did not accept any money for the post. As you know, Tati has a vitamin brand they take on a daily basis, but in the moment, I did not think about the competition, which was a major oversight. I have supported Tati both online and offline like she has done for me, and I am devastated that I hurt someone that I truly love and have endless respect for. Seems fine. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I saw people were mad that he didn't mention her company by name. Hmm. I don't understand why people care that much. Do you not understand that you're all being grifted? Like, she's just selling you like, vitamins for 40 bucks. You can't be so insecure about your company. Like, right. Like, if the product is good, it will perform, you know? Right. And a, a little tiny shout-out would be enough. You don't have to, like, squeeze your friends for, like, hey, you, the shout-out wasn't you good enough. That. It's like a jealous uh, girlfriend who, like, yeah. doesn't let you, like, talk to other women ever. You can't talk about that. <laughs> so that's kind of the vibe I'm getting is that I just don't understand why she's so insecure about her product essentially yeah like you like you said Ela. but again I, I mean everybody has Tati's back I'm going to warn you all right now I am critical of Tati and so if that's too much for you I think I lay it out I've got some good compelling arguments here I would like you to listen and not abandon ship okay I'm not a Tati mm-hmm. hater I'm just an objective outsider that doesn't know anything about either of these two creators and I'm giving you my two cents because that's what I do because this show's called My Two Cents isn't it? H- no. Oh, <laughs> My Two Cents with mm-hmm. the Ethan Klein <laughs> I'm changing the name Okay. My Two Cents or if I'm not the Pope So, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, this leads to her explosive video called By Sister, which is a 40-minute long uh, rant about James Charles, where she goes on. um, Well, here's her main points. I mean, it's a long mother effing video, boy. I invested. I watched this video 40 minutes long. Good. Oh, man, it's hard to listen to. I'm not going to lie. Apparently she made it also because someone else uh, kind of publicly said the whatever right. that she shouldn't have made the Instagram story. Or I don't the, even know. There was another Qu- yeah. beauty queen friend of James, I guess. I don't know who had called her out being like, bitch, don't you cry on. Mm-hmm. Don't you go on Instagram crying, bitch. And like because they're all insane, cutthroat, crazy. They've all got poison tip daggers. Um, and so she's like, oh, I'm not having my name dragged. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I made you, and I will destroy you, Taddy said <laughs> in her mind. And so she went off. Yes, queen. Hi, sisters. Bye, sisters. Hi, sisters. So in short, she basically is mad that he promoted her competitor. She thinks he's a douche. She thinks he's immature. And he has a history of pursuing straight men too aggressively. Those were her main grievances. But she goes in pretty deep, like... She talks about how she went to dinner with his family and she was talking about how he was talking super inappropriately about like blowjobs and sexual stuff in front of his own mom and dad Mm -hmm. and that they were uncomfortable. But I was like, when I heard that, I'm like, dude, that's a private moment between his family and you were there as a guest. I don't really think that that's a fair. And also, (laughs) it's like you're choosing to surround yourself with these people. If you don't like him, why are you hanging out with him? Well, why? So she, she, her point is that he got progressively worse as he became more famous. Okay. So. This is by sister. By sister privately. Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> you I think know? Just to, just to you know what? keep us factual about this, I, I believe it was her birthday party. So was it... No, no, no. That's two separate events. Oh, that was a different incident? Yes. Okay. okay. So her birthday party, that was when he was hitting on the waiter, uh, and I she see. had to apologize call everyone the next day and apologize this was a separate event when she was eating dinner visiting with his parents she went over to his house his parents house and met his parents and then used that against him yikes that's kind of fucked yeah 
I don't know if it was at her parents' house, but either way, I remember she was like, it was a big deal that she was going to meet his parents. So that that rubbed me wrong, to be honest with you. Um, There was other really. Well, to me, it's like you're 37 and he's 19. He's a kid who got famous really quickly and Mm -hmm. super rich, and he's a kid, so he's going to do stupid shit. And you're 37, (laughs) and you're obviously way more mature than him. Supposedly. (laughs) Should be. So, yeah, maybe you shouldn't hang out with him because he's going to do dumb shit that you, you're, like, way past, you know? Right. Um, right. I mean, and then, so that's something really important to bear in mind is that she's 37, he's just turned 19, and so, and they are always both talking about that he's a mother, she's a child, and, you know, the, so that relationship really, for me, makes this even worse for her because... If she really has this maternal instinct for him, it's so fucked up that she, like, bare... Like, she... Her goal is to destroy him. Because she airs every grievance, everything. She Mm -hmm. goes all out and, like, stuff, like, private shit, like meeting his parents and saying he was inappropriate. I mean, there was other stuff I can't recall that rubbed me wrong, but I have... First, let me... I have... uh, Let me... I have a list here. Of stuff I'm gonna start James this is, is how the video to, starts and, uh, and from the beginning it rubbed me wrong and I'll tell you why she starts by showing pretty much a compilation of times she shouted him out and helped him that's how the video opens I'm gonna play it for you now James is here to uh, do my bridal makeup which is what I am wearing right now oh. um, I just wanted to congratulate you on almost a million on Instagram I want to say huge congratulations to James Charles if you have not checked his channel out on YouTube and you want to be inspired he's a freaking teenager and he's like a genius with makeup James Charles Whoa. is the face of their holiday collection and I saw by the way I remember what I wanted to say is that she goes in her video she's like he's so mm-hmm. immature you know, when I met him, he was kind of immature, but I was hoping he would grow up along the way. But I could mm-hmm. see he has it. So what she's saying is he was like 17 when I met him <laughs> and now he's 19 and he hasn't matured yet. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Do you listen to yourself? He's a child, dude. God. Do a really cool look. I do want to say we're not want... here to just defend James. We. Oh, I'm going we, in. Yeah, we haven't expressed any opinion about him yet <laughs> at all. This I'm going in on everybody because <laughs> this is my two cents, and you know how we do. I'm just getting through the Tati part. Thank you. Trust me, I don't like either of these people. You're going to hear about it here on my two cents. To try this palette, we are going to be taking a first look at the new Morphe palette. You Hello. So I'm so scared. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Like it? It looks so gorgeous. Do you like it? I love it. Sorry, James. I'm on to another Morphe palette, but you guys can still use code James for 10% off this one. I'm the friend that's encouraging you guys to use code James for 10% yes. off of saving. You can use anybody's shame. code. Use, you know, James's code. Yes. I'm wearing my sister's apparel. Yes. Okay. So she has compiled every time she's ever uh, helped promote him. And the presumption, I guess, being that he has never reciprocated or not reciprocated enough but again the whole kind of premise of this video for me hinges on the fact that she's done so many nice things for him Mm -hmm. and she's done it with the expectation that he would do her favors back and so that's not really that's not really why we do favors right you shouldn't do favors with the expectation that they'll one day be returned you're not the godfather or I guess in her in her case, she does think of herself as the godmother. I almost feel like she saw it as an investment that then paid off. <laughs> right. It's like, ooh, this kid is blowing up. Once he pays it back to me, you know, it's going to be huge. Well, she collected her debt. She's the <laughs> godmother. Um, so that part already rubbed me wrong. It's like, okay, you're going to start by showing me all the nice things you've ever done for him. Um, and then... Here, this part, she goes, she says, you should never uh, minimize other people's pain, she says. Uh, oh, Dan, I never got the clip from you. Here, I'll grab it to you right now. Yeah, just put it in Discord. Or you can put it right here where it says source needed. So she contradicts herself in a really awful way, I think. She says, here, let me show you. She says, you should never minimize people's pain as she defends herself by name it really minimized my feelings it's a horrible thing to tell a person like hey it's sunshiny outside don't feel bad about whatever you're going through and i always like to tell people pain is pain and yeah at some point you have to feel it 
express it. So, so her point, I guess she's defending herself against that one guy who's like, bitch, you shouldn't be making a video on Instagram crying. Mm -hmm. And she's saying, well, pain is pain. We all experience pain. If I'm feeling it, it's real, no matter how petty or stupid you think it is, mm -hmm. pain is pain. And you should never minimize someone else's suffering, she says that, in, in an attempt to defend herself. But yet, later in the video, when she goes uh, off on, on uh, James, she says this, and let me quote you. It seems very And it's just really funny that we didn't end up collabing until... It was in his favor. So he was popping off online about exposing the beauty community and doing a docu-series. And I was like, no. How entitled do you have to be to think that you have it rough? You are a 19-year-old millionaire. Is that her you minimizing his pain? You do get to wake up and, <laughs> you know, stress out about how unfair your job is like how are you going to tell him <laughs> he doesn't get to wake up and stress out about how unfair his job is when you start the video by talking about pain is pain and how dare you minimize my pain i mean you're literally doing that she's also pointing out she's saying you're 19 and a millionaire think about it for a second that's got to be really like that messes with your head that's a source of great stress we we always talk about like what would we have done if we got you know, our success at 19 and not, mm -hmm. like, because we were, like, we got it maybe at 29, not mm -hmm. 19. Right. So, and I have no idea. I would have been cringy, probably. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was already cringy at 19. I didn't need money to fucking yeah. exacerbate the problem and, like, uh, people worshipping me. You know what I mean? Um, God, if only he had a mother, f mother figure <laughs> to help him sort through his issues. You know, she says she kept reaching out to sort to him, but he was unavailable. Whatever. So I'm going to fucking so bury him. him? That's the solution? <laughs> yeah. Um, move on with your life. You're 37. Someone's got to grow up here. To me, also, she keeps talking about how, like, there you go. This is the show business. People are here to get each other. And it's like, not necessarily. We meet a lot of people from our industry, whatever it is, that are nice, that are generous, that will help us, so you got to choose who you surround yourself with. If someone is being a douche or, you know, you don't like their vibe, you just buy sister. Just buy sister. That's true. I would say 100% almost of all the people we've met have been right? like, really sweet, charitable. Maybe yeah, I would, once in a while you feel you meet someone and you feel like, you know what, I felt I'm used. I'm not hanging out with that person I again. feel like this person used me, but yeah. are you going to go and make a video about that? Fuck no. Um, maybe I will now that I've seen the numbers she got. <laughs> who can I expose? Spill the tea. <laughs> yeah, who can I spill the tea on? I was thinking that. I was like, damn, who can I expose when I saw this? <laughs> Shit. Um, expose plus one would be pretty hot. I have nothing to expose, but I'll make shit up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll make shit up about him. <laughs> Fucking lie about him for 40 million views. 50 million views. <laughs> that would backfire on me. Everyone would abandon me. Post Malone made me drink Bud Lights, even though I was don't like Bud Light. I like Bud Original. It'd be like the lamest shit. Yeah. He didn't have Bud Original, and I felt abused. Yeah, um, I I find that stereotype about Hollywood so stupid. Like I, everyone I know here in LA is fantastic. It is what you make it. And I've gone to these parties, right? Where it's like these scenes and you see all these fake, lame-ass people. Yeah. And those are the last people I would want to hang out with because they're so transparent. They're so obvious. When you see girls in tight dresses just looking for a rich guy to yeah. fuck, it's like, hello, you are blind or stupid or or in denial to not see that for what it is. And you see the guys cruising around with, like, Gucci shirts and Fendi trying to look like they're actually rich when they're not or right. whatever. It's like everything is so transparent and you're not a genius to spot it right when you see it. So, I mean, you can surround with yourself with whoever you want yes. to be surrounded with. If you go to a party like that and you choose to go back, then okay, I guess you're into it. You know what's the biggest signal that she's a phony? Look how many drawers she has. <laughs> wow, so true. What? <laughs> Bro, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's like five, six rows. Six times seven. And it feels like it goes forever. So that's like 42 drawers just in sight. In, in the observable universe. What is it for? Makeup? I've never seen that. Well, what the fuck? What the what? <laughs> how do you even know what's in each drawer? Let's say, like, how... 
What are you, a librarian? You're like... <laughs> yeah. You don't need that many drawers. I'm going to spill the tea on you, bitch. People are going to be so mad. But you know I'm right. But that thing about saying, don't minimize my pain, and then calling, t- saying that he doesn't have any right to complain because he's a nighttime millionaire is total BS. And anyone who's watching this knows that I'm right. Um, we have to take a break, I guess. Dan? Uh, yeah, we're a minute away from the 30-minute mark, so. So we've got much more, obviously. I'm only at the tip of the iceberg here, so let's take a break. We'll be right back. This is the H3 Podcast. Ethan, giving his two cents. Let's talk about something we can all agree on, saving money. The reality is if you're not shopping around, you're probably not saving money. So what if there was a way for somebody to do the shopping around for you? Well, that's exactly like Honey does. What Honey does? Honey is a free tool that you download to your computer's browser while you shop online. Honey scans the Internet for coupon codes and other discounts that are automatically applied when you're at checkout as a coupon, and it gives you the biggest savings to your card at checkout like magic. It works on over 20,000 sites like Amazon, Nordstrom's, J. Snooze, as I heard our designer call it, uh, Nike, me. Best Buy, Target. You called it J. Snooze? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I, yeah, I thought Chew made that up. No. <laughs> that was all you, huh? Damn, you always, you always comes out with the spiciest little morsels. Um <laughs> Jay Snooze. <laughs> Instead of taking my word for it, listen to what actual users have to say about Honey. Uh, five stars. The very first day I used this, I saved 10 bucks on Amazon and then another 30 bucks on a subscription service. I couldn't stop using this service if I tried. Thank you, H3H3, and thank you, Honey. That is from a real H3H3 person on the Chrome store. Here's another one. Just saved $81. Amazing. Shout out to H3H3. I don't keep many browser extensions anymore, but Honey is legit. I'll find the best price on stuff you already buy. Look, there's really no reason not to use Honey. It's free to use, easy to install on your computer in just two clicks. And don't take it from me. Take it from our listeners. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. Honey, the smart shopping assistant that saves you time and money. Look, you probably care about your mouth, and if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. This commercial is not for you, but life isn't for you if you don't care about your teeth. Because guess what? You're not going to get friends. You're not going to get a date. You're probably not going to be able to look at yourself in the mouth because your mouth, your teeth, is the most important thing about your face and about your personal life. Because your breath got to smell good. Your teeth got to shine. You got to be your beautiful, most whole self you can imagine. And that's why I love Quip. Because a toothbrush should be an extension of your arm. Too much? It should be an extension of your arm like a samurai sword. (laughs) I love Quip. It's got the softest Brussels in the game. It starts at a reasonable price of $25, and it's got the vibrating power of a much more expensive toothbrush. It's a vibrating little tube, okay? This was featured in Time Magazine and Goop Magazine. It's one of the best inventions of all time. Why? Because it vibrates, and it tells you... It pulsates when it's time to switch to the other side to make sure you get that perfect, beautiful dentist-recommended brush. What is it, like two minutes or something? And then every minute it tells you to switch sides. It's the softest bristles. It's the bombest brush in the game. It's such a convenient little package. I live and die by my quick electric toothbrush. I wouldn't use any other toothbrush. And this is a guy coming. I'm mouth obsessed. I've searched high and low for the best toothbrush in the game. And Quip has got you covered. And... You can also get some ass to play with the back end of it, too. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Just saying. I, you, I would buy a separate one for that because you don't want <laughs> yeah. to use both dual ends. <laughs> that's, that's just my opinion. Quip is worth it. Give it a shot. You got nothing to lose. I love Quip. We've got over 1 million happy, healthy mouths that also love it, too. They start at just 25 bucks. You go to getquip.com slash h3 right now. You get a first refill pack free. It's this top and a, some toothpaste. It's free, baby. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash h3. It's time to transform your mouth. If you're a guy like me and most dudes I know, you don't have time to shop, first of all. And two, you don't like shopping. And three, even when you go shopping, you don't know what to buy. Because let's face it, we don't 
I don't have taste. I don't know what what I'm doing. It's right? hard. But you want to look good. You want to look presentable. So here's the solution. Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. To get started, you go to stitchfix.com slash h3, answer some questions about your preferred style, and your shopping your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. You tell them your budget, you tell them your style, your taste, and everything, and you got a stylist that goes to work picking out the perfect dream outfit for you. But here's where it's really great, is that there's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free, so essentially you're turning your home into your own private, super convenient fitting room. Plus, the $20 styling fee is automatically applied toward anything you keep from the box. You'll never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix. So get started today at stitchfix.com slash h3 to get and get 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash h3. Stitchfix.com slash h3. Welcome back to My Two Cents, starring Ethan and Hila Klein. Now, I was listing all my grievances with Tati, <clears throat> and my other one is that she's, like, she's got this big, important video about James Charles, but she still happens to squeeze her Lincoln sloppily above the fold, like her beauty link. I don't even remember if it was there in the beginning, if she just put it up after it started going, like, mega viral. It may have been there from the beginning, not that it makes it better, but she knew it was going to get a ton of views. H- Halo, before and after... This is the hardest video I've ever had to make. Halo before and after photos are here. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's convincing. What is it? Is it medicine? Is it some kind of trick? No, it's a vitamin, bro. Before and after kiwi. Now, I might, yeah. be, I might be a cynical asshole. Or, I mean, I am a cynical asshole. <laughs> that's not... That's not, not in debate. question. Yeah. <laughs> but what is in question is, can a multivitamin clear your skin? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. If it was that easy, dermatology wouldn't exist as a practice. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But here you have it, one way or the other. You know? Get halo.com or whatever. But she sloppily, you know, throws that in there. And she spent a lot of time in this 40 minute video talking about her product, too, by the way. Yeah. I was like, whoa, she's really plugging it. And to me, it seemed like if there is anything really serious here to talk about, it was all the other stuff with James kind of like forcing himself on straight dudes. Yeah, and I have compiled all of the evidence of that. But basically, I think what she didn't want to do is, I think she was strategic because she just wanted to open the lid enough Mm-hmm. To be like, oh, she went there. Yeah. But but the accusations and the evidence is so uh, circumstantial and unsupported, unsubstantiated, that um, it wouldn't be a good look for her to go into it. But she was like, well, at the waiter at the restaurant on my birthday, he was so inappropriate and he was so hitting on him. And you need to respect straight guys' sexuality and all that. Okay, fine. <laughs> but that was the most serious claim. But she, to me, at least. I well, yeah, and so, and I agree. There's a lot of serious stuff there that I'm going to explore thoroughly that we're going to get into um, when I'm done slamming on this tatty. Can I say ta-ta to tatty? <laughs> ta-ta, sisters. And then, finally, she starts, she goes in, coincidentally, on James Charles, right as people started turning on him. Like, he was just started all of a sudden losing subscribers for three days before she decided... Ooh, I'm going to make this video. Uh, people started getting angry at him because he was doing like a $600 VIP fan meetup, which is like the douchiest thing ever, obviously. And he also got invited to the Met Gala, mm-hmm. which I guess a lot of people were angry about because they thought he wasn't worthy or that because Jan- of how Jeffrey he Star phrased in there. the... Oh, right. He I'm, wrote something. Here. Yeah. My first Met Gala. Thank you so much for YouTube for inviting me. Being invited to such an important event like the ball is such an honor and a step forward in the right direction for in- influencer representation in media. And I am so excited to be a catalyst. Influencer? <laughs> what? <laughs> so people got upset about that statement. <laughs> yeah, in- influencer representation, like he's a marginalized group or something. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> well, I wonder why you people don't take YouTubers serious, James. Maybe you can tell me more about why people don't take... <laughs> 
YouTubers seriously. <laughs> By the way, can you tell me more about your nipple holes here? Are those nipple holes, Elo? They're not aligned with his nipples. But they're, but, but, yeah, you're right, they're not even close. <laughs> you gotta work on your nipple game, Dag. Anyway, what's, I don't know what's this outfit, I don't know, he's like a... It was by a legitimate was, designer. Everybody was dressed crazy. So, it, yeah, that's it, with the bandana, he's like a gay crip. I mean, if you're, <laughs> it's a legitimate designer who put it together. Alexander Wang? Yeah. Wang. It's a Wang original. Alexander Wang. The bold move on the gay crypt look. What's up, homie? <laughs> Hi, sisters. <laughs> James Charles be like, what's up, homie? <laughs> so it seemed a little opportunistic to be like, oh, now's the perfect time. People are ready to slam. She smelled blood in the water. And it's time for mommy to bury this baby. It's time for mommy to abort this fetus. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're in the ninth term. We're in, we're in the seventh term. And it's time to abort this fetus. Yeah, this was a late-term abortion for sure on the part of Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, Elo agrees. Tragic. Tragic loss of life. Uh, so all that being said, James is definitely a douchebag for all the reasons she pointed out. And I'm not uh, defending him, as Elo uh, said. Th- and I thank you for saying that earlier because it's for important for people to know that I hate everybody involved. Um, I want to go. F- I want to go further into why he actually deserves what was coming to him. Um, and again, the most serious claims against James that I can tell, besides him being a douche or a bad friend or whatever, is that he seems to go after straight guys, aggressive, bordering on predatory. Apparently, and you'll see this in a lot of his videos, he has a fetish. For straight guys, which in itself is weird, because that's like the the under tone, undertext of that is is predatory in itself, mm-hmm. because you're you're trying to convince somebody that by default is not interested in you. Yeah, it's got a very weird tone. Like, like uh, you're not gonna be able to resist me, right? Kind of thing, which is weird. Well, it's also kind of rapey, to be honest, because yeah, it's like, I'm not gay, and that's the challenge. Especially when you add to the factors, the fact that he's famous, and right. if he does that to someone who's a fan of his, it's extra inappropriate. It's abuse of power, yeah. right? So here I've compiled a bunch of evidence. Um, let's go through it. Is James Charles a predator? Let's find out. These are all anecdotes of people, again, so the the, valid- the validity has not been corroborated on most of these, but there's a lot of it. So it does paint a picture a uh, of, a per- of a person, right? When I met James Charles two years ago in a hotel room at Playlist, he was not only rude as fuck, but he was visibly trying to get one of his intoxicated straight friends to cuddle with him to the point where his friends had to say, James, fucking stop. Nothing has changed. You know... And you, you almost can get away with it, him, because it's like, oh, I'm just James Charles. I'm just fucking around. Mm-hmm. But if there's someone coming on, man or woman, coming on to you that, so hard and aggressive and nonstop to the point where you have to physically push them off you and say, stop. Yeah. You know. That's too much. You know. Um, now, apparently, this guy actually has a picture of him in a hotel room with him then. So it is somewhat corroborated by evidence. But this kind of stuff isn't that hard to believe. Um Here's more. Let's continue. Do you mean receipts? Yeah, it had. Re- what? That's the other thing they say. They say with receipts. <laughs> Tea was spilled with receipts. These girls have their own language, man. It's fantastic. Uh, I never talked about it out of fear of him coming for me, but after the video Tati posted, I feel like it's finally time for people to know the shit he's been done throughout the years. All right, thank you, Anthony, for coming out. Very brave. Um, well, I think there was more to it. No, there was. That's it. That's all I have. Oh. Um, there's a next saga is flirting with married men. Let's see here. Oh, so he's just cold DMing dudes, by the way. This is freaking weird. He just DMs dudes on Twitter who follow him, I guess. Who 
who are like attractive straight guys and he goes he goes oh wow you're so hot and then the guy responds obviously trying to make a point my wife is so hot <laughs> and he says you could have just accepted the compliment ha 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 have a lovely day is not like the ultimate like uh that's like the cat calling yeah i'm just complicating just accept the compliment. Yeah. yeah. Kind of douchey, right? Pretty douchey. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of a guy telling a girl you, you smile. could just smile. Yeah. <clears throat> he said, I take it more of a compliment when someone says nice things about my marriage and my wife, but thanks anyway. I guess this guy knew the, uh, the score. Mm. Again, these are just a lot of little evidence. It gets worse. There's more serious accusations. Um... More to follow. Now, this one is very serious. Um, so this guy claims, he says, uh, he says that he was sent unsolicited nudes when he was 17 by James Charles. Hmm. There's no evidence other than this. Okay, so this is very, I mean, this is what pro Jared got moited for. Again, there's no hard proof, but he says, I don't have the screenshots. I wish I did. After taking, after talking for a little over a week, he sent unsolicited nudes and asked for them in return. I told him no, and he unadded me immediately. After that, it was clear what he wanted from me, and now I have him blocked on everything. That was him uh, having a conversation with one of these tea spill, tea series, <laughs> tea series. <laughs> Dude, hello. That should be my drama name. So again, I'm not, it's just a lot of this. It's hard to know what's real and what's not, but it paints a picture. This guy says he went to high school with James Charles, and James Charles catfished the entire soccer team in high school pretending to be a girl so he could get dick pics. So glad to know he's still predatory. Um, apparently he pretended to be a young girl and was, I, I, I don't know. You're going to have to read between the lines there. This is all the evidence, though. I'm just trying to show you guys uh, everything we've got. So, so weird. So weird that they both, like him and Jared, kind of had the same behavior going on. But. Well, Jared's. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Dude, Jared, Jared's there's, way older, right? I mean. Jared's an old guy. And Jared's, there's so much more proof. I mean, you got the dick pics. <laughs> I saw, I looked even more after we did our, that episode, and there's all oh, so much weird stuff. Like, he had a secret sex blog called Sin Jared. Oh. Where he had his fans, who he had kind of brought in on this world of his, submitting nudes. Uh, many of them underage. Oh and he called them his little sins. <laughs> How that did that cringish. just kind of go by like nothing? James Charles swept the whole pro Jared thing under the rug. But pro Jared's done. I mean, that guy's fucking done, done, done. Tata said, Tata, Tati said, Tata to pro Jared and James Charles. So he's always, he's known for always saying shit like this. Attractive straight boys will be the death of me. You know, he knows he's got a problem. He's trying to make a joke about it. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just fuck dudes who want to fuck you? You know what I mean? Why are you going after straight guys? Go after a guy that actually wants to be... What is so exciting to you about someone that doesn't... It's a power forbidden, thing. Yeah, it is, a po it is totally a power thing. It's like there's a, like a sect of porn that people like cum shots where the girl looks like she hates it. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> You're like manipulating someone into doing something they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. James Charles... Let's continue. It's us. There's so much. I'm sorry, you guys, but I just got to show you everything there is so we can draw a co real conclusion. I mean, I put so much work into this. You guys, come on. Kind of want to do a story time video about one uh, straight boy I've had some crazy experiences with without outing him, of course. Okay, whatever. Keep clicking. Next. Straight boys are the most confusing and deceiving people. You all stink. Bro, you said they're straight. <laughs> It's right there, man. <laughs> straight boys are confusing and deceiving. No, straight boys. They don't want your dick, anyone's dick in anyone's mouth. Period. <laughs> straight. If 
Fuck. I want a boy who is straight. <laughs> Love that for you. That's easy. Um, there. Straight. I want a boy who is straight. He wants a boy who is straight. <laughs> Love that for you. That's um, easy. It's you, it's easier than you would think. True. Um, yeah. Well, have you ever hooked up with a guy before? No. You should try it sometime. <laughs> no, I can't. Um, but I, you told me that you have turned out straight guys. Elaborate on that because you are a famous celebrity and you do live <laughs> Thanks, in, you do live in Hollywood. Push his emotions onto me to kind of guilt me into Whatever. Okay, it's a running motif even before all this shit happened. Yeah. Um, stop doing that, obviously. Now, I don't know why the F this one is so freaking blurry. Uh, when you're drunk, the truth... This, so, but this was a part of a larger conversation. This one really rubbed me wrong. He says, he's having an argument with some guy, I guess, he was friends with. When you're drunk, the truth always comes out. So, not always, but I just want to make sure we split on good terms Charles says James Charles yes always you're not straight no matter how many times you tell yourself and I hope you figure that out sooner rather than later and no we didn't split on good terms he's trying to convince this guy he's gay you are not straight no matter how many times you tell yourself and I hope you figure that out sooner than later can you just fuck a, a gay dude no. Man. Weird. Uh, Jeffrey Starr, by the way, uh, tweeted this and erased it. There's a reason that Nathan, that's his uh, boyfriend or husband, banned James from ever coming over to our home again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him since Glam Life Guru's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. He's a danger to society. Right. That's pretty rough. <laughs> what the hell happened at the birthday party, Doug? <laughs> God damn. So clearly, anyway, even among his uh, his cohorts, there's um, I guess they know more than they're letting on. So ultimately, it's hard to say exactly what James has done wrong, but he's clearly have a pattern of really poor behavior around straight men. Really and a really weird power trip, a really strange shit that he better stop and, get, and and examine what he's doing. Because actually, if this goes unchecked for another like five or ten years, I mean, he's going to be he's going to do some yeah, vile, gotta, vile things. He's going to Bill Cosby some people. Exactly. Yeah. You get a cult, R. Kelly. Do you have your passports? Do you have your shots? Girl, I wanna go to Jeffree Star's makeup party. Ooh. Mmm. Lift me up, girl. Here we go. Wipe me. Mmm. Do you have your foundation? Do you have your highlights? Boy, I wanna convince some straight boys to suck my dick. <laughs> you suck my dick. Mmm. Do you have your foundation? Do you have your mascara? Girl, I want to go to Jeffree Star's house and get banned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have much more than that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for setting me up. Ultimately, what, what, uh, what can you say about James Charles? I mean, yeah, the guy's a douche. He's young. He's successful. Wildly successful. Insanely successful. Um total douche. Now, what can we say about Tati, on the other hand? I would say she seems like an opportunistic snake oil salesman that threw her supposed son right under the bus. You know, she's full of contradictions. She's full of all this sweetness and niceness about... Like, she made a new video called Why I Did It. Another 20-minute waste of life. And she starts crying like, I'm not the victim. Don't feel bad for me. If I could give back the subscribers, I could. Like, you know, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Delete the video then. <laughs> Delete the original video if you feel that bad about it. It's got 50 million views and counting. Such a phony. And she's using it to push her product, which is above the fold, which is snake oil to begin with. It seems to me that she's bitter, that he became so successful and catapulted 
past her and forgot about her, which is rude and inconsiderate considering, you know, how instrumental she was. But that can happen. That can mm-hmm. happen. So does that give you the right to just stomp on his fucking face publicly? I don't know. It worked out for you. But I just don't think that she's the saint that everyone's making her out yeah, to be. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it doesn't paint a really great character on both of them. I agree. And, you know, that's contrary to the popular opinion because mm-hmm. all I see is outpouring of love and support for Tati. And I want to say hashtag Tata to Tati. Damn. Got her. I went there. Time to spill the tea, Hi, bitches. So um, I say unsubscribe to both and subscribe to my <laughs> podcast, H3 Podcast, a.k.a. My Two Cents featuring Ethan and Ella Klein. But regardless of all of that, we have to appreciate how incredible it is that on the very same day we were talking about pro Jared getting the all-time <laughs> sub loss on one day, that James Charles comes in two hours later and smashes it on ten times multiples. 1.3 <laughs> million in one day. Incredible, incredible stuff. Only uh, uh, reality is stranger than fiction, by the way. I mean, you know, let me check the social blades of uh, pro Jared and then James Charles just for one last update before we move on. So, I mean, it's slowed down quite a bit for for pro Jared, but per capita, if you look at this, like, per capita, you're talking about, like, you know, a full-on 20%. Yeah, I actually, I I ran the numbers last night, and uh, he lost 21, roughly 21% of his. I mean, that is so... That's in one week, man. And what about James Charles? James was 19. Mm-hmm. So right around wow. the wow. But Pro Jared, per capita, lost more subs. So there you go. So there's no bouncing back for Pro Jared. He's like, mm-hmm. bye-bye. He's done. Sisters. James Charles, on the other hand, I was shocked. I was mortified to find out that his subs are in the green, like strong in the green. All of a sudden, on Thursday, he was having like a super strong day. And I didn't expect him to bounce back for a long time. So I, I was, I really, Weird. yeah, I found it just so bizarre that he rebounded so strong just suddenly. You think he might be buying subs? Cheating the system? <sighs> I don't know. That's a pretty, that's a strong claim to make, but it is so suspicious that. How easy is it to buy subscribers? Yeah, it's the easiest thing in the world. From what I understand, it's, yeah, it's actually mm. pretty common. Yeah. I don't know how common it is among, like, big YouTube. I don't think big YouTubers buy subs. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's the thing that people do. I mean, it's easy to tell from the views if you have a real fan base right. or not. If the, I mean, the views are not going to be there if it's fake. But, I don't know, man. Well, if he bought subs or not, it's still pretty shocking to see. Yeah. So, there you have it. You can see it dip off like people sold the stock. <laughs> Straight up crash, stock market crash. <laughs> but apparently he's he'll be back on top and he's gonna pass. He's already ahead of Tata. I hope he make I was really hoping he'd make a video slamming back on Tata, but he made some really shitty oh, apology yeah. video that was right. so bad and annoying. I guess we should watch that real fast. I think his apology video made everything worse too, because it was just like I can't even find his YouTube channel. Okay. He's so fucking annoying in his apology video. 50 Hi, million views. He takes so long. He takes such long Hi, pauses. All. James here. Um, Hi. I'm currently traveling abroad and James just woke here. up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. Um, because I owe everybody, I owe everybody an explanation. Um, but most importantly, I owe two important people um, an apology. To Tati and James Westbrook. This is a lot of it's his videos. So just so slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. For but then he goes on and talks about his mom. I guess he felt that anecdote that she gave about his mom, him talking inappropriately about her, mm. he felt was really fucked, but he didn't want to say that because he's trying to apologize. And I think his mom was really angry that she, that mm. she used that against him. And he was, he starts talking about his mom and crying. And Especially shit. with the last situation that just happened. Um, I've had to learn it the hard way. But coincidentally enough, Tati really was one of the people to sit me down and tell me how it looked from the outside. Um, in regards to my own mother, 
There you go. Well, I know you want to defend me and fight for me and go off on comments, but I ask that you don't. You know, you. <laughs> problem that I got myself into. <laughs> Excuse me, this. everybody. Apologies. Um, I love how he's telling his mom not to go off in a video. It's like, you know, you could talk to her. <laughs> Seriously. Mom, and I just want to say, Mom, don't go off on everybody, please. Problem that I got myself into, and this is my job to deal with this. <sighs> no matter what is anybody is saying or commenting or talking about, Mom, I need you to know. Here we go. Waterworks. You're the most important person in my life. And that you're an amazing mother. I just don't know why he's ta having to talk about his mom. And mm -hmm. shit. It's like, you guys all... You guys talk. You got a number. Yeah, presumably. Her, <laughs> his mom's gonna make an exposed video. <laughs> Spilling the tea on my own son. His his uh, metaphorical mom's buried him, and now his biological mom's about to put the tombstone on his grave. Yeah, there you have it. I'm, I'm so over talking about James Charles. How long have we been going? Fuck me. A while. <laughs> well, now since I said that, I actually have James Charles memes. You want to look at these? Um, could okay. skip it too. These are funny. Let's just we're in deep. Let's watch. <laughs> That's Here's why James I Charles this putting on makeup. Revolutionary makeup gun. It's for the woman who only has four fifths of a second oh, to yeah. get ready. <laughs> Close your eyes, Marge. And now you're ready for a night on the town. <gasps> Homer, you've got it set on whore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fantastic. Biggest drama is about these two. The biggest YouTube drama of the year, and both are centered around guys that look like this. <laughs> What's the deal with this spider that I always see James Charles compared to? Does anyone know back there? I don't know what it is, but it does kind of look like ass. it. <laughs> Here. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it's from some game or creepy ass kids uh, cartoon. I don't know. Terrifying, that. whatever it is. Oh man. Yeah, that's good shit. Is that picture of the right of James real? Yes. Okay. He did like a meet and greet, or he was taking photos with this people like that. This guy's a makeup man. ex. I mean, I, who am I to talk? But okay. Don't there ever talk. No, to see, me. that was edited because yeah, that one isn't as white. I guess this is the real. Yeah. Oh, but it's still bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one not as funny, I guess. No laughter there. Um, oh yeah, this one. Uh, I saw this on on Twitter a lot. People were enjoying this. Eli, you're gonna like this. I saw. Yeah, there's a tea, and oh, there's a tea. And <laughs> Watching Tati's tea. video, the 40 minute oh, video. There's a tea. There's a tea. <laughs> that clip is so phenomenal. <laughs> like, I would say that, um, what game is that? Jeopardy, Price is Right? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I would say that Wheel of Fortune was created specifically, everything culminated in this clip. <laughs> like, there's nothing better than that. Um... Oh, this was great. People were burning his uh, products, I guess. Here's one genius burning it in the trash can in their bedroom. I was like, man, that seems like a bad idea. There's a like taper. Oh, no. Fuck. Got my whole pod two hour podcast claim now. I was like, genius, that's like a pretty severe fire in your bedroom. <laughs> and there's like paper next to her and shit. Yeah. And it's makeup products, right? There's probably all kinds of oh, that chemicals ain't healthy. and shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> also, you already bought it for crazy. Yeah. Like, just fucking use it. <laughs> or give it to someone, dum dum. People were apparently returning his products en masse here. Someone who works at the counter of one of these beauty places was like getting wow. tons of people coming and returning. Imagine actually being that upset. That you I'm I don't know. Just suck me. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to go. To the star. I don't do that already, and I'm not upset about anything. <laughs> James Charles falling faster than his sub count. That's it. He just ate shit. Fantastic. Brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that about sums that up. Um, 
I feel exhausted from talking about that. <laughs> How do we do? Do we explain it? I think you're pretty thorough, yeah. I should try those vitamins. You should make some kind of statement, like this was a drama-filled week that we will never see again. Oh, yeah, because I... I oh, you were provoking. <laughs> wow, guys, the drama, the sub-loss, the, uh, the twists and turns, this was such a drama-filled week that we will never see the likes of which again. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, uh, Philip DeFranco just, like, um, came out that he had, and Keemstar are having a sexual affair. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be the best YouTube drama of all time? Keemstar and Philly D are gay and in a relationship. Yeah, just close the website at that, that point. Be pretty good. It's done. Dude, that would be fire. And there's a <laughs> video of it. <laughs> Who do you think has a bigger dick? Philly D or Keemstar? Mm-mm. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> if I had to guess, what do you do? You guys have an opinion? Of <laughs> which one of them has a bigger dick? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I think Philly D. I, I'm just gonna say Philly D because I yeah. like him more. Different, there you go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there you go. he's packing it. Keem probably has like a little like. Keem's probably pretty pretty small. A little gnome pee pee. Yeah, he's got a little gnomish. It's like a just a, it's like a mushroom. It's like got a huge tip, but it's really <laughs> stout. It's got like a little mushroom stub, and he's probably got a wart on the tip that looks like a gnome sitting on a mushroom. <laughs> he's got like a huge wart on his gnomish cock. All right, let's move on. You just gave Keem content for a week. I know. <laughs> yeah. Thing is. No, it's true. I've I've heard through the grapevine that he has a huge wart. The wart is like the same size of his mushroom tip. It's crazy. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we've got abortion. That's a that seems like an awful follow up. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. We've got um, let's talk about the freaking Burger King depression meals. You guys got to <laughs> see this, man. Um, watch this ad. <laughs> Just bear with me because it's like a cup. It's one minute long Bear with me here and tell me when this ends if you are not shocked and <laughs> awed by what actually this ad is for So I'm just gonna play it for you and let's talk about it when it's done Not everybody wakes up happy Sometimes you feel sad scared crappy Crappy All I ask is that you let me feel my way Can't wait to leave this closed-minded town. My boss is such a freaking creep. I just told him to go f himself. My giga claim. I'm commenting on it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So sensitive. I can't believe my student loan. I'm never moving out of my parents' home. Just got ghosted. Should have known. Pretty sure I'll end up alone. The lyrics are pretty cringy, you say I'm right? Too young to raise my the baby rhymes. girl. Yeah. Take your opinions and suck it, world. You go, girl. Sister. You spilled the tea on that bitch. Yeah. You just threw your phone in a river, bro. <laughs> no one is happy all the time. And that's okay. That's why Burger Meme, Burger Meme, Burger King is introducing real meals. <laughs> Are you f fucking kidding me, Burger King? You believe this corporate uh, nightmare? These corporations need to stop. This KFC, <laughs> this Burger King, this Wendy's, they all need to go God. fuck off. You're not one of us. And then what the fuck was that? And then they're like supporting Mental Health America, but not, what exactly are you doing? Nothing, they're making money. Yeah, <laughs> you're still just selling the same burger. <laughs> yeah. So we actually went out and bought all of these for, for review. So, so we've got here... <laughs> Well, we can bring them in. Um, so yeah, they've got the uh, 
Let's see. You guys are going to love this. <laughs> the blue meal. The yas meal. <laughs> Pissed meal. Salty meal. Don't give a fuck meal. These are real meals for real people. Now, the, the, um, I love the, the, do I get a crown, Dan? Yes. Thank you. Which yes. one do I get? Your, yes. Uh, yes. Queen. yes. <laughs> I love the the Burger King of all people is making the depressed meal because honestly, nothing makes me more depressed than eating a Burger King burger. It's disgusting garbage. It's crap. It's disgusting. And I love that they have depression burgers because I don't need help getting depressed when I eat Burger King. So Either? were they just starting shit with McDonald's because they have the Happy Meal? Yes, exactly. They're trying to call up McDonald's for the Happy Meal. Now, they're being, you know how dumb this is? They call it a Happy Meal because it makes you happy when you get the meal. And you know Not why? because you have to be happy to get the meal, you idiots. And you know what? McDonald's does because it's way better. Yes. This one is depressing. That's what, Happy Meal makes you happy when you get it. Okay, if I get a meal and I'm salty afterwards, that's not a good meal. If I get a meal and I'm blue afterwards, okay, that means you're fucking depressed. The depression meal? Who thought this was a good idea? But yes. also inside, it's just a regular Oh yeah, meal. you're like, oh, is that, this is some interesting shit? No, it's just a Whopper and fries, man. It's literally, <laughs> their fries suck, by the way. Their fries are the worst, and their burger. What did we rate Burger King? Because I want to lower it. I think we gave it up. It was we, a D or an F. For yeah, sure. it was yeah. at the bottom. It was down there. Good. Ian, tell me about the process of getting these. I'm curious. The burger looks all right, to be honest with you. You want one? No. You already had one. I know. Don't you not? Ian, talk to me. Oh, um, <coughs> You're having a yeah, I went and got uh, them this morning, and the woman at the drive-through had no idea what I was talking about. What did you ask for? I said, could I get the real meal? That's what they call it, the real meal, <laughs> not the sad burger. Um, and she said, you want a grilled burger? And I said, no, the real <laughs> meal. <laughs> and she went, it would take about 10 minutes to grill a burger. And I said, no, I need the real meal. And she said, I have no idea what you're talking Wait, about. Wait, what's the grilled burger? <laughs> I have no idea. She just couldn't understand me. It'll take 10 minutes to always, grill a burger. The shit's always grilled, isn't it? Yeah, that's what, what she said. She said about five to burger. ten minutes. What the fuck? What, as opposed to how else are these prepared? You know what I mean? Yeah, what I don't I understand, know. too, is from what we looked up, uh, this promotion is only being run at like five Burger King locations nationally. And oh, one just really? happened to be over. So their marketing team is so incompetent that the employees of the five restaurants <laughs> that do this know. don't even know what the hell is happening. Well, who the hell would actually go there and ask for a real meal? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of psycho. Um... But you went there yesterday, Ian, and you said they were sold out, right? Yeah, he told me to come back tomorrow. <laughs> I have I find that hard to believe. How do you sell out of it? You just run out of packages? Yeah, what does that mean, they sold out? I wonder. Hmm. Also, I like that they got these crowns. Eli, yeah. I can clearly tell that D-G-A-F, you don't give a flop. I had gaff. Yas, queen. You got to twist yours, Ethan. We can't see the yas. Oh, shit. Tell me what to Other way, other way. Well, I'm going all the way. All right, go all the way around. Keep, turning. keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, it's like hurting my ears, Dan. <laughs> there, there you go. Yas. Yas? Yas. It's so small. Yas. Yas. This, this has got to stop. These corporations, <laughs> by the way, I, I didn't show you guys how many we got, but I didn't want you to, I just want you to appreciate how far up. You got the whole variety pack. It's falling apart. It's not. I want you to appreciate how far we went for this, okay? These are all real meals. We're the only ones today to buy them. We're the realest mother. It's research, right? That's right. Mmm. Three hour old French fry. So you breakfast. ate a burger and fries today yeah. for breakfast here before the show. How do you feel? I actually feel good. I could totally eat another one of those burgers. Like I can't even smell it. I put it in my mouth, I started eating another one, it was like <laughs> she threatened me, and I was like, all right. She's right. I shouldn't eat that. I'm already depressed enough. I don't need a depression burger making this shit worse. But these corporations have to stop. I am not down. I don't find it cute. I don't find it charming. Their food sucks ass. Burger King, fuck you. Time to spill the tea. 
the uh, time to spill the Diet Coke on you. <laughs> Burger King has no nut. This is apparently real, by the way. Burger King tweeted this out. Him, it's only a month. Waifu. Like, no nut, November. Uh, you sell burgers. <laughs> Why are we talking about no nut, November? Why are they all trying to be, like, relevant on social media? I just stop. I don't think anyone ever bought a fucking Burger King meal because it's some asshole talked about No Nut November on Twitter. What is this shit? Goof it around. Oh no. I can't. This is so embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> the Wendy's ones are the worst. Goofing around this afternoon, which one of these classics do you want to see us deep fry? Votes are in. The frosty one, but we went ahead and deep fried all of them because it's a deep fried meme. Oh god. Do you understand? That that wow. you are the worst. You are the worst. I will never eat at Burger King. I will not eat your food. It's Wendy's. Wendy's. Whatever. They're all ass. Yeah, Wendy's. Stupid man. Makes me angry. Not as angry as this Burger King one. Do though. they just hire like a fifteen year old to run their social media? Yes. You mean yes. I mean yes. yes. <laughs> Domino's is so wacky. I don't get this. This one's pretty bad. Demons, take off your blindfold. Me. No. Demons. We got Domino's promo code. Me. A. What? Why are demons? Is this real? I think it was from Bird Box when all those memes were going around. Oh, that no. Movie. <laughs> Sandra Bullock one. No. <laughs> No, man. <laughs> Who's this Asian girl that got to do this dumbass? Probably an intern. It's dumbass. not even a real... It looks like they photoshopped... It looks photoshopped. ...the freaking blindfold on her. Bro, that's so bad. <laughs> Ugh, Wendy's talking shit about Burger King. <laughs> well, talk about calling the kettle black. You know, Burger King also has spicy chicken nuggets. Yeah, but there's also water in the bottom of the dumpster out back if you're thirsty. Roasted. <laughs> Got him. Who is this person who took the screenshot? Because they like the tweet. Yeah, people like it. They think it's cool that and relatable and edgy that a big corporation would run their... Wendy's is so savage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that they would run their social media like a 15-year-old. Sick. Yes. You know it's probably like a 30-year-old guy pretending to be that oh, he's 12. That's even worse. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Wendy's, this savage social media is run by a 30-year-old dude <laughs> who jerks off to hentai. <laughs> okay? Yes. The UPS store is even getting into the fray. <laughs> somehow. If your child addresses a letter to the North Pole, you can leave it with us. We do shredding. It's all right. Savage as fuck, though. <laughs> Dear Santa, please cure my mom. She has cancer and she's dying. UPS. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> you understand what it means because you're not American. I'm not sure. Kids write letters to Santa asking for Christmas miracles okay. and wishes. Got it. And so if they address it to the North Pole, UPS store saying they'll shred it. Got it. Because kids are dumb. Dear Santa... My mom passed away, and I'm all by myself. My dad is dying of cancer. What do I do, Santa? UPS store, shredding. <laughs> Got him. Um, that's it. I, I'm kind of over it today. It's been an hour and a half. I've got a sh so much more, guys. But I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Are you excited for the last episode of Game of Thrones? On I Sunday? think it's going to be the all-time worst episode ever made. It's been getting... Game of Thrones... Oh, this is a whole can of worms, Eli. You really want to go there? We can talk about this. Let's talk about Game of Thrones. We got it. All right. Well, I, as you, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I've read all the books, and I've been on board with the stories. This last season, I mean, everybody's been complaining about for good cause. Because, I mean, the plot has just been so rushed. It's just been so ridiculously rushed over. You know, HBO originally wanted 10 seasons, but the creators, the two Davids, 
were, I guess, over it and wanted to go work on Star Wars. They have this new opportunity. And so they just wanted to lock it up real fast. And the end of the book was just so rushed, dude. I mean, the end of the story, like... Is that true? The... Yeah. <laughs> HBO wanted more. HBO didn't end it. It's these two, the two creators. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that they've had now... I don't think they've parted ways with George R. R. Martin amicably. I think George is pissed mm. about how they did the show. Do you hate the part at the end where they explain the episode? I like it. I hate it. Well, I usually like it. Why do you hate it, Eula? Because I, I don't need you to now tell me why you think your writing was so great. Right, that's it's true. It's always like, oh, we knew the fans wanted this, but obviously you can't give them what they want because yeah. it's going to be so... They're like, but... John is supposed to be the hero, and we all knew that. So we yeah. wanted to subvert expectations and have him just meandering around the castle, <laughs> yelling at a dragon. That's literally, they said that about John. <laughs> It's like, and then there, George R.R. R. Martin contrasts that. He pitched, talking about the TV show, he goes, yeah, you want to subvert people's expectations, but when you have a whole novel set up in a certain way and all the clues and all the story is leading one way, if you just go ahead and change it at the end, yeah, then then the living, story becomes a mess. And you're living all these dead ends. There's so many Look. dead ends in that show that they caused, like, the whole thing about Dorn, the Dornish prince that the mountain killed and all this, Total dead end. Didn't go anywhere. Um, Braun has ended up like a total, like such a weird, stupid His character. character. Doesn't make any sense. No. I mean, everything's a dead end. Honestly, the whole I just, every show. time they're like, for three years now, we knew that Arya was going to be this, but we wanted to do it this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like, yeah, you guys wrote it. I don't need to hear why you guys are. <laughs> well, George told them the how the story ended. And so ba they basically just fast forward. They skipped ahead is yeah. what this, this season was. Yeah. But there's some really dumb ones. In fact, you're talking about how they... Well, Danny kind of here, forgot. This, this was such a great clip by um, Clan Gaffney. So this is perfectly what you're talking about. Here's these guys talking about their genius writing. This it just takes me out of the show. I don't need you explaining to me what I just watched. You know what I, I, I like is on YouTube, they have how shit was made. So, like, the most recent episode, which was cinematically that was awesome. and graphically phenomenal. It was beautiful. It was an achievement in, in, in filmmaking. And on YouTube, there's a 30-minute, like, mini documentary about how they did all of it, like the special effects and the coordinating and everything. And that was fascinating. Yes. Did they um, show in that? Uh, I haven't actually seen that, but I was reading that mm. uh, they built like Dude. 17 yeah. city block set. Yes. Yes. They that built, is fucking nuts. They, that is they show all of that. It's super They awesome. built it all, and then underneath it, they also had charred ruins. Wow. So they built first what it was going to look like when it's ruined. And uh, then they continued it to be full. That's sick. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you should watch it. It's it's great. I loved every minute of it. It's such a bummer because I mean, it, pretty much every component of the show is is top top tier. Yeah. Other than the writing, it's just like the acting, well, the writing, the visual effects, all of it really is unparalleled for a TV show. Anyways, you the know? thing is, once they kind of strayed away from the source material, it just got more and more like that. If you look back at the pacing of the first season, it was so true to the book, and it was so fantastic. Mm -hmm. There was this incredible. Uh, pacing and narrative development and character development and then like progressively as the show went on that all just also, completely like, turned into drama it kept being so unexpected and things like the red wedding or right or what happened to ned yeah which yeah. is like cute i mean they did, they built that up perfectly you st i still can't get over that moment yeah <laughs> yeah it's like a darth vader moment it's just so powerful um and so I think I think they really botched the biggest moments in the books, which is kind of what happened in the last episode, that they kind of like what should have taken place over the entire course of like a whole season should have like shown what happened. But really, they gave it like one episode, mm -hmm. you know. Well, at any rate, what you're talking about, how them like, uh just masturbating about their own writing. So listen to this, you're gonna love this. Well, Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces. They certainly haven't forgotten about her. 
idiot. <laughs> and the Golden Company has arrived in King's Landing, courtesy of the Greyjoy fleet. The balance has grown distressingly even. While Danny kind of forgot about <laughs> the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces. It's kind of quiet, but yeah. like it's fine we for you guys. We need to find your yeah, Greyjoy's yeah. fleet and sink it. Your Grace, he's already <laughs> destroyed a good portion of our fleet. While Danny kind of forgot about <laughs> the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces. Your I don't know that part. Is us dawn, the but... Iron Islands, and the Reach. While Danny kind of forgot about. <laughs> the part where they explain it just kind of makes me feel brain dead. It's like I just watched it. <laughs> I can. How dumb do you think I, can I am? I can think about it for myself for a minute. I don't need someone now chewing my thoughts for me. Mm. I don't know why it, <laughs> it upsets me. Yeah. I'm actually with you, Eli. I never watch them. I find it, <laughs> I find it really immersive breaking. Yeah. I like the the inside look, but those are on YouTube separately. Yeah, those are awesome. The Iron Fleet and Euron's forces. Euron's ships could be anywhere or in more than one place. You'd be flying around the open seas alone for who knows how long. This is the dumbest shit ever. Like, they go to King's Landing, and then somehow these dragons in the air don't see the, the Iron Fleet and just get 360 no scope. <laughs> it's just painfully I dumb. Alone. I would have Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. What can anyone she forgot. The, even the writer himself said she forgot about the Iron Fleet. Like, what? <laughs> and then, yeah. Never saw it coming. <laughs> That's the end. Yeah, it's a shame. It's such a shame that the writing was such well, ass. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet <laughs> and Euron's yeah. force. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the the latest episode, I, I, I was so conflicted because on one hand, I was so depressed about the culmination of all these characters that I loved and have followed and so invested in and watching them all perish and just that so that alone made me sad and depressed really that the show this show i've been watching since when we lived in israel yeah <laughs> before we even made a youtube channel i think or around the they time they didn't even have it in israel then and you had yeah. to like watch it at 4 a.m we were watching it on like a box like a really <laughs> yeah. like sd old school box yeah um and you couldn't wait, so you would actually watch it at 4 a.m. and then watch it again with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the first season I remember. I was so yeah. captivated by it. The, here's a compilation of the cast being disappointed with the last Have season. Have you shot your Obviously, final shit. scenes so yet? Good. And are you happy with how things ended? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Bad season ever <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so <Jeez. brutal. laughs> without telling us anything because I know you can't is are you all happy with the way you think with the outcome of the show personally you just the biggest I think the fray it's a little bit of Avengers assembly it's a little bit dude by the way Bran okay we spent the whole story building up Bran as this magical uh from the very first episode he's pushed out the window and has these visions and it's culminated in him doing nothing all of those plot lines everything supernatural in the show just completely went nowhere and just get ignored i was thinking about this the other day in all of the seasons since uh, john snow got resurrected like it's barely ever addressed that this dude came back from the dead like nobody mm -hmm. cares also, the Hound it's was like brought so back from the dead. Like, the, the Lord of Light, it was like he was so particular about who he brought back from the dead. But now let's think, he brought back the Hound. The Hound did absolutely nothing. No, to not the Hound. Uh, you're thinking of... Uh, no, the Hound was brought back to life. The, no, the Hound was brought back oh. to life. I don't think so. Yes, he was. The, the, that crew happened upon him. That dude who was brought back to life like eight times, mm -hmm. his dude brought the Hound back to life. That's uh -huh. why he joined their clique. Maybe? 
That was that one season. I'm blanking on that. I so. don't yes. remember. He, 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 I'm pretty, I'm 99% on that. Um, but and regardless. then that, and John then. got brought back and the other guy and, yeah. <laughs> and then that one douche that was brought back to life like eight times, he, his whole purpose was to save Arya. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So that she, she 360 no scoped the ice douche. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ice douche was like the biggest dud ever, by yeah. the way. Yeah, that went nowhere. Lord of Light went nowhere. Bran went nowhere. It's good stuff. Satisfying conclusion. Yeah. It's all about, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> exactly. This Character is great. development. <laughs> Love it all. Story. <laughs> <laughs> They're all trash in the show, man. It's crazy. I really need to shut You're up. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. But no, but no, but no, but that's what Joe's not going to be in Star Wars. No, but this I couldn't let you go without asking you a little question about Game of Thrones. Sure. This is the if you could describe ever. the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> 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 no, epic. I don't know. Epic. One of those ones. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Nobody thought of that. I'm telling you, this dead. last episode, this Sunday, is going to be the most irredeemable pile of shit um, that any of us have witnessed. I have a, I have a, a premonition that a lot of people have been super angry about these last two ups. I think this one is going to take the cake. There's no way they're going to save it. And they put the women and children Oh, this is great. It really is such a shame. Nobody... Because the making of it is so good. The last episode. Yeah, if you haven't watched the the making of the last episode, you really should. These two guys, man. They're like... They're just fucking everyone's shit up. By being in such a hurry to get out of there. You know, all the work and all the love and HBO and all the actors and George and everything. The fans. They just want to Is bone really out. Up to HBO wanted 10 seasons. And I don't think they could make it with other people. Contractually, George gave them mm. the license to make it and nobody else. Yeah, that might. That was like his big that. thing is that he wouldn't work. He only wanted to work with mm. people he approved. Watch pe- there was this one scene in the, the Long Night where they're like, all the women and children in the crypt where all the dead people are. And everybody watching is like, <laughs> uh. Yeah, and he can raise the dead. And Tyrion Lannister in the past two seasons has become the dumbest, most useless mm-hmm. character. Like, when they're using the source material, Tyrion Lannister, best, most interesting, insightful character, last two or three seasons, useless, moronic, always wrong, mm-hmm. doesn't predict obvious shit, washes. Bring all the dead people back to life, and they put the women and children in a crypt with all the dead people. So, brah. Tyrion is smart, but I guess not that smart. He is that <laughs> smart. He's meant to be that smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate to tell you that unfortunately Barrison is God. Were you so, gutted about that? On a I, was, I was gutted. Sir Barrison was, was such because, a great character. Uh, I mean, a number of you, I'm sure, have read died the books. Died for no fucking and, reason. And uh, I've read the books. And I have reason to expect, oh, I've got a journey here. In fact, yeah. if I'm honest, I thought, oh, I'm really looking forward to this season. Yeah. I'm going to have more to do. I'm going to get my teeth into something I'm really looking forward to. Did you because have I words? Did you say anything to Well, I did, I did ask and, and uh, give an argument why I thought Barrison should stay. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, Dan and David, you know, they, they've worked out what they wanted to do. Yeah. You know, if you've planned your book that the here, butler did it... And then you read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm. then you screw up the whole book because you get these, this foreshadowing early on, and you've got these little clues you planted. Now they're dead ends, and you have to introduce mm-hmm. other clues, and you're retconning. It's a mess. We hope to kind of avoid the expected, and Jon Snow has always been the hero, the one who's been the savior, but it just didn't seem right to us for this for this moment. How do you feel Idiot. about the way that it ends? At all. Um, um, there are no better writers in television than Dan Weiss and <laughs> David Benioff. Such a cool. They ended it brilliantly, better than I could have imagined. And uh, you people are in for it. <laughs> what are- you people yeah, anyway. are in Pretty for it. Dan, what did you think? You have a strong opinion about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not a fan. Uh, I mean, I, I too have read the books. I've read them twice, actually. Wow. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, and uh, like once 
early into the show, and then I reread them like about two years ago. And um, yeah, I mean, I think what it really boils down to is these guys, they are, I don't want to say that they're bad writers just flatly, um, because obviously they gave, you know, many seasons of a great show. I I just don't think, I think they're good at adapting from a source material. And as soon Mm. as it it diverged from the books, um, you know, a lot of the changes they made several seasons ago of like cutting big storylines, like Dorne is completely different in the books. And uh, there was other Targaryens they cut. Yeah, there's the other Targaryens. And that's that was like the whole plot that Varys is a part of. So that kind of makes Varys' character completely useless. And, you know, there's a lot of theories that that whole plot line is going to be what ultimately Cersei was in the show. So that's why Cersei just really s- stood around not doing anything for the last two seasons. And. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they just they was so dumb too at the end. Like, how much did mm-hmm. Cersei go through? How much character development was there? Like, she blew up the sap, she got disgraced, she got her hair cut off, and all this shit. Mm-hmm. And what did it amount to? Nothing. It went nowhere. She just ended up standing there in the freaking window. Sipping she wine. betrayed the armies for pretty much no reason at all. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody pointed out. Uh, I saw that uh, that the actress that plays Cersei is actually uh, one of the highest paid on the show. Mm. Mm. And um, this season is like <laughs> quite a deal for her because she got paid so much money for I don't know a grand total of maybe like ten lines of dialogue. That's and right. Just standing on a balcony for a long time. Like, I think she got like a hun- a million per app. Yeah, something like and that. She was yeah. literally just standing, gazing. There. Yep, that's a good deal. The for The gaze her. of miracles. <laughs> that's right. She was brought in it to. Uh, yeah, King. it's it's disappointing, man. It makes me sad. That makes me sad. The loss of the show and characters that I love makes me sad. The last episode was so heavy. I mean, like, 80% of all the characters died. Yeah, and so much... I mean, a lot of people take issue with uh, Danny losing it and killing everybody, but, I mean, at least on paper, I actually like that that's where the story went, but it was so un, unsubstantiated, so... It's just all undeserved. happening so yeah, undeserved. fast. Right, exactly. Microwaved. Yep. Yeah. They just microwaved it. Yep. Like you said, I mean, these guys, um, you know, not to excuse them, but yeah, they've got this deal to make a trilogy of Star Wars movies. So you can understand mm-hmm. from their perspective, I mean, that, I mean, how many things are a step up from Game of Thrones? Not many, but that's that's one that, you know, that is an extremely prestigious it's thing. just fucked up but today. Game of Thrones is part of history now. Yeah. Well, they should have just passed it off to somebody else. They're going to go else wrap up right. the show. Well, George, show over. No, George wouldn't give consent for that. I guess, I guess. But they're going to go make some shitty Star Wars trilogies, and everyone's going to remember as the guys that fucked Game of Thrones and went and made some shitty Star Wars trilogy. (laughs) But they're probably going to make a ton of money, so what do they care? Especially when you look back, uh, I don't know if you've looked at their um, IMDb, but prior to Nothing, Game of right? Thrones, not just nothing, like some really cringy shit, like some of the worst <laughs> stuff ever. Do you remember the X-Men Origins uh, Wolverine movie? Like the worst X-Men movie that ever mm. made? That was their uh, beauty, huh? Yeah, the one where uh, Ryan Reynolds is uh, Deadpool, but like isn't. Well, you know, George was involved in the first couple of seasons, too, as a consultant, so... Well, he even wrote scripts. Yeah, so, I mean, George was a TV writer in the 70s and 80s, so he he I'm, had actual writing jobs. I'm really hoping that George is going to finish the novels, and then we're going to get a remake of the ending. A remake of the whole show, and Maybe. it's really true to the story. Kind of like a how do Full you, Metal Alchemist. How do you redo it, though? Full Metal Alchemist, dude. They should just New make, actors it an- with make it animated. I w- dude, animated would be so good. That'd be super cool. Yeah, like a long struggling. form. Mm-mm. I mean, they're not going to do it anytime soon, but maybe 10, 20 years from now when memory I would love activated. to see these last seasons remade. But there's, they're making a prequel. But again, there's no like source a, material like to draw three. from, so I think it's going to be shitty. It'll be different writers, though, to be fair. Yeah, they'll, but they'll they have no source off. material to draw from. Spinoffs almost never work, though. That, that shit's going nowhere. Well, I am excited to watch the last episode. I guarantee everyone's going to hate it. I can <laughs> almost certainly guarantee it. Um, Got predictions? Let's I don't want to say. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't want to say. I'll tell you off air. Okay. Because I read the kind of a spoiler, but I don't know if it was true or not. Oh, that's right. I did hear that there were some leaks. But I, I read like a do- some asshole. It was on a trending Twitter post, mm. and they literally on a trending Twitter post. They trended this. They said, "This is what happens." Here's the leak that predicted it. 
and mm-hmm. all of their major plot points were right mm. up until now. So nice. what they predicted for the end, I hope it's not true, but what they predicted for the last episode is truly the worst possible mm. scenarios. <laughs> I mean, just so dumb. Well, I guess we'll find out in a couple days. Yeah, I told Ethan not to tell me. No, yeah, I won't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm depre- I got my depression crown on, <laughs> and I'm feeling blue. But it's Friday, TGIF, God's Day, Holy Day, baby. So let's go out there and let's say some God blesses, some Papa blesses, some uh, whatever blesses. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a fun time. It's been a podcast. You know how we do. <laughs> Ela's getting really pregnant, so it could happen any day now, by the way. Yeah. I think we'll make, we'll make an update this weekend. Due date is? June 6th. It's June 6th. Two 6th. weeks? Three weeks from now? Mm. Something like that. Three weeks. But holy shit! Yeah, three weeks. Less but, than three. But weeks. at this point, it's like it could happen anytime. Yeah. Oh boy. So, but we're gonna make an update video, I think, this weekend, because we just gotta tell people like, hey, we might disappear for a minute, because it's baby time. What's your plan for the podcast? I mean, I think I'm just gonna come in and do it solo and just update people. Mm-hmm. Just keep it short and sweet, and then keep you know. Yeah. Then go home. Do an hour. Should I watch the baby coming out or no? Do you want to? I don't know. It's a miracle of life, dude. I mean, I guess whatever you want. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna forbid you. Would you? Would I watch it? Yeah. I, like, my initial reaction is no. But then I don't know, maybe... I think that moment where they actually plop out, because it sounds like the head is crowning, 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 and then there's a moment where like everything plops out. Yeah, good. But that's crazy too, because you've got like the baby, but then also like the placenta and everything, and all this blood and discharge and shit comes rushing out. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can live with that (laughs) in my head. Exactly. (laughs) Maybe just don't. The miracle of life. Yeah, maybe just don't. Dan's saying no. You can just look I'll just at be with the you. doctor like handing you the baby. Yes. 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 <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. We love, we appreciate you. Thank you for this jar- James Charles drama filled beautiful romp riot. This is the- we'll never see the likes of which again. <laughs> Team Star and Philip <laughs> Franco, meanwhile, are sucking each other's dicks 69. Oh filming. God. Uh, can't wait to find that and update you guys. So have a great weekend, a fantastic weekend. We love you all. And we'll see you next time at the H3 Podcast, My Two Cents Edition. Thank you, everybody. Ta-ta. Ta-ta from Tati.